Okay, so it's been six months on glutathione. Oh my gosh, I never thought this day would come. So right now I'm actually in the school pickup line for my little niece. And um, this is where I've been getting all that tan on my thighs. Today I'm wearing a pencil skirt and some of the sun is like getting on my knees so I have this covering it. But yeah, right here you can definitely see in from this window but the window isn't tinted so Anywho, I have this little sweater that I'm just going to keep in the car and um, whenever I'm wearing a dress or a skirt, which I wear lots and lots of dresses, then I can just throw this on my lap and not worry about it. I'm also starting that, that A word. I can't say it yet. <laughs> I need to look up the pronunciation, but um, I will be starting that later this week and so hopefully that'll help protect my skin um, from you know, the sun and getting darker because I definitely feel like I've been set back more recently within like the last two weeks. Anyways, we're talking about six months of glutathione. I cannot believe this. So it definitely has been a long journey um, from nebulizer to rectal implants. I recently stopped doing rectal implants when I got my supply of liposomal glutathione. So if you're looking into liposomal glutathione, um, it is an investment and you know when you get it you should definitely make sure you get enough to where you're not going to run out. You know, heaven forbid something happens with your finances and you run out or I mean just any anything can happen. So you just want to make sure that you're kind of like stocked up so you're ready for whatever. What's so nice about it is that you don't have to take it in a nebulizer or you don't have to um, put it in a rectal implant and so you just have more free time <laughs> you don't have to worry about doing that uh, twice a day I would say the last two months I've been doing just dosages twice a day I have stopped with a three day though if I'm being honest if I were to start over all over again and um, do this journey from scratch I would definitely be doing three times a day just because you're introducing it into your system for the first time and so it's gonna take you longer just to get a supply up. So a lot of the studies that I looked at show that your overall supply of glutathione that's in your body goes up by 30% after six months. I mean, six months is a long time. Um, and 30% might not sound like a lot, but it is. So I'm really hoping that my results will be um, pretty speedy from here on out. But like I said, I have gotten tan. I've gotten darker um, the last two weeks because I have not been protecting my skin while I'm in the sun. As you can see, this entire, like if I wouldn't have long sleeves on right now, this entire arm would be in the sun. Um, I'm keeping my hand in the shade and then obviously I have this on my lap, but yeah, you can't play out here with the sun. <laughs> so I'm um, taking the precautions that I need to by taking that, that A word. Um, I'll just write it on the screen because I can't say it. As far as vitamin C with glutathione, um, I think for lightning, just to be safe, like just to be sure, these last two months I was taking maybe 1400 milligrams of vitamin C, liposomal vitamin C by the way, liposomal vitamin C with, uh, at first I was doing 6,000 milligrams of glutathione and then I bumped it up to 12,000 milligrams of glutathione for a few weeks and now I'm back down to doing like five to 6,000 milligrams of glutathione, of liposomal glutathione. But I think you should definitely match however much liposomal glutathione you're taking to liposomal vitamin C. On, honestly, I wouldn't even mess with regular vitamin C, so like absorbic acid or just uh, I can't remember the other one there's absorbic acid and then um, it, it's a different type but it's um it's less harsh than absorbic but honestly just just go straight for liposomal um, thankfully there's different options as far as different price points right now I'm doing liposomal vitamin C pills I have never tried the liquid liposomal vitamin C but I hear that it is the best but um, I, I wouldn't know <laughs> But, so yeah, right now I'm entering a new era of taking liposomal glutathione. And um, the kind that I'm using is from SHC Glutathione. And so I'm doing 40 milliliters a day, if you wanted to know. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of teaspoons. <laughs> it's a lot of teaspoons, but you know, 
it can be taken all at once or you can you know take it spread out throughout the day I mean it's completely up to you and I'll let you guys know what those results look like in a few you know weeks but um, yeah so far that's what's been going on that's just catching you up to life now that I've been on glutathione for six months it's been a long six months so I, I still recommend doing um, reduced glutathione but just know that if you do reduce glutathione you're probably gonna have to take double the amount of reduced glutathione that you normally would of liposomal glutathione and you certainly cannot take it orally so liposomal you can take it orally all day uh, I wouldn't worry about putting it in a nebulizer or taking a rectal implant but if you're doing reduced glutathione definitely take it in a nebulizer or take it rectally whichever is easiest for you uh, I wouldn't chance it because the bioavailability like not even half of it would even get in your bloodstream I did a whole month of taking glutathione orally and I saw no change if anything I, I definitely got a little my skin got dingy looking to where it wasn't um, very bright it wasn't very glowy and I did nothing else different I was still taking all of my other supplements my MSM and my you know vitamin C I think at that time I was taking like 8,000 milligrams of vitamin C but anyways the only thing I did different was take it orally and I definitely saw a difference but I know for those who are saving up to get liposomal or saving up for IVs then um, definitely take something in the meantime you might as well because this just takes so long and it's like this for everyone like even people who are taking IVs they still say they don't really see a change in their skin until after like 40 IVs so it's just how it is so the sooner you get started the better that's how I look at it at this point um, but don't be surprised if by month six you start to get burnt out doing rectal implants twice a day or doing the nebulizer because you know that can take a long time um, so yeah goodness gracious mom <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else has happened with glutathione um since I've been on the liquid liposomal oh gosh her message like came in triples um, since I've been on it, I haven't noticed anything as far as um, being gassy, so I'm, I'm really happy about that because <laughs> you know glutathione can do that to you. Um, I'm still taking MSM though, though I'm taking it rectally and um, it's actually easier to take it rectally than it is taking the glutathione rectally, I will say. You'll notice glutathione taking it rectally can kind of make you a little gassy. Um, though it does get better after a few months but anyways um, taking MSM rectally is uh, way easier as far as gas and I don't feel like it makes my stomach bloat up but um, yeah that's just something that I've noticed hmm. um, if you look at other youtubers who have successfully lightened their skin if you see like um, they'll do like a whole collage usually the collage is like uh, 12 months or 15 months like it's, it's over a year and you'll see that the most drastic changes is usually around like month eight that I've noticed um, and I'm specifically talking about um, I think it's Africa's best um, I know her website her website's glued is best but anyways her YouTube channel I've watched her transformation and I definitely noticed the biggest change around her eight month mark and um, Stephanie Gorgeous Libra Goddess her change definitely around the year mark though she had said that she was on and off so she's been taking it longer way longer than a year I think she's almost to two years but she had some false starts where she started and then either she stopped or um, whatnot um, you can just go watch her channel she explains everything so I'm really excited to see where I will be at in another two months, but as of right now, you know, this is where we are. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup this morning because, yeah, <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> it's not a busted day, but um, yeah, I, I told you guys that I had been a little self-conscious about the color of my face the color of my face had gotten so light that it looked um, unhealthy just kind of like sick sickly and so I started wearing a little bit of makeup 
just to help even out the color. I haven't figured out how to get my face to match my body at this point because my face was already light to start out with. So lots of people are asking, um, you know, what, which part of my body is gonna lighten the fastest and it just depends on what part of your body is light to begin with. I mean, the lightest parts of your body will always lighten quicker because, I mean, even lighter people in general, they lighten up quicker. <laughs> um, usually I'm, I'm more referring to the Asians who are using um, glutathione, but yeah, I think that's all I got to say. <laughs> I'll have links to everything um, down below and yeah, you can just kind of peruse my channel and see the entire journey thus far. Obviously I'm not ready to stop yet. Um, you guys can see the video that I just posted like I think two days ago or so. Um, you see my, my, my arms and my legs in that video so you see that I'm not really to my goal yet. Um, but hopefully I'll get there within the next few months and I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this liquid liposomal and yeah just stay tuned. Okay so I just wanted to add on some more information um to my six month update i've really 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 been noticing um more so than ever before that i have the patches on my skin where it looks like dirt but really it's just the old darker skin and then you can see the light newer skin shining through i for kind of forgot that i had read about this way back in april so when i first started my skin journey and some people were saying yeah you'll see the new light skin shining through and um i think frank white he really talked about that a lot um but i went pretty much six months on this journey and didn't really notice it until like these last few weeks so definitely within the last three weeks or so i finally started noticing it first i noticed it on my arms and um i could see like some patches where i would miss the dark skin when i was exfoliating in the shower so you just see like patches of dark and then you'd see you know the light skin underneath um it's there's quite a lot right up here um thankfully it's something that like, i think only i notice it's the difference in the skin tones aren't too uh shocking or the, co the contrast isn't that noticeable, thankfully, but I obviously see it. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed some here this morning when I got out of the shower, um, and there are some, what I call like a kind of beige-ish, beige tan light spots on my legs, um, particularly my thighs. The, the rest of my thigh is obviously brown. Um, so yeah, I guess it's just happening all over. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like I said, I've never had that happen before on my legs. Um, another thing I thought I would mention is that you can see there is a dark mark from where I used the steroid cream. My cat and I, we both had a rash. And um, this is the dark mark where I put the steroid cream. And at first, I thought that it was just a regular scab because you know the skin had broken through that's how bad the rash was and then they gave me an antibiotic cream and they gave me a steroid cream and so yeah at first i thought oh it's just you know a regular scab and it'll go away within a few weeks well now it's been um well over a month and those dark marks are still there <laughs> so yeah don't use steroid creams if you were on glutathione, they, they've they already told us that, but I had no choice because I had already used three or four different dermatologists prescribed creams on this rash and nothing was working. So the steroid cream was like the last resort. And um, thankfully for me, it did go away. Like the rashes went away because I had them kind of scattered throughout my body, but um, you can definitely still see the dark marks. Um, I had two down here as well. So yeah, <laughs> thankfully, you know, the rashes are gone, but um, the steroid cream did leave that dark mark. And like I said, at first I thought it was something that was just going to go away. Like obviously if you break open the skin, you're going to scab up and then it's going to be a mark. And then, you know, within a few weeks it heals and goes away, but it's been over a month and um, yeah, 
those marks haven't <laughs> really gone anywhere so I, I really hope that someday they do but I don't know, just stay away from steroid creams um, unless you obviously can't avoid it but you definitely don't want to be using any lightning topical that has steroids in it while you're on glutathione because you might not be able to get rid of that dark mark <laughs> and um yeah it's just what it is so i think that's all i had it to add on to this i will be filming um an updated daily skin lightening routine um of me taking all of the dosages of all of the supplements that i'm currently taking because it's changed since now i'm on the liposomal that I made that video about the SHC liposomal glutathione. There are um, still other stuff that I'm doing as well, like the hyaluronic acid, the collagen. Um, there's an acetyl glutathione that I'm actually finishing up a bottle of it. And um, I'm basically just doing everything I can to lighten as quickly as I can, because <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to be done with my journey. Um, so hopefully now that it's getting cooler, I'll be able to stay out of the sun. Because <laughs> other than driving, I, I was fine. Like this entire journey, I was fine when it came to staying out of the sun. But um, these last few weeks, my lifestyle has changed. And now I'm spending about an hour in traffic a day. And like I said, during that time, usually I would get a tan from the front two windows of the car and so yeah i'm working on getting that to go away um thankfully it's superficial so it's lightening up quicker than if it was just like all over my body it's just um for sure like my thighs got some sun and um, you can see like on the outside of my arm it looks a little more brown versus the inside but um that's just from you know the sun beating down on it while you're driving or sitting in traffic for an hour so i'm working on getting that to go away 